Hey everyone, so in this video we're going to create this shockwave effect often seen in anime when there is an impact the one seen here in this reference image so the original concept for this shader is created by PD Design and then I took that and modified it to get this type of uh, look alright so to get started I'm going to add a circle then we'll tap the edit mode, select all the vertices, and we're going to press E to extrude and S to scale. You want to scale all the way in into the middle part is very small circle. This is going to be our base mesh that we're going to use for our shader. Alright, so next we're going to work on the UV, so we're going to go in our UV editing tab. And we're going to select A to select all the vertices, press U to unwrap, and then we're going to have this, it's going to unwrap like this. So, but we want the UVs in a linear fashion from left to right, so we want each face in order from left to right. We're going to select a face, edge of a face, we're going to scale it to an X. Zero. That's right. Scale x to zero, so it's going to be a angle. Now we're going to face again. Yeah. E to all the faces. You again, and then we'll add them. Right now everything is in linear fashion from left to right. Now we just have to scale it within our box. Going to restrain the image bounds because we don't want anything outside the bounds. Then we just scale it. This is here. This. Now let's select all the vertices and we have to rotate it by 90 degrees or 90 because we want the gradients in a brief so we want the shader to go on left to right from this way to this way so inside the other thing to do is that we have to make own shape out of this so we're going to make four loop cuts here and then let's Rotate this on the x axis at 90 degrees. Then we're going to turn on proportional editing here. Let's select only the middle vertices and then we're going to grab on the y axis. All right, so next we're going to work on the shader now. Um, let's go to our shading tab and create a new material. The image wave. First thing we're going to do is, is delete our principal PDF. Then let's add in a gradient texture. Then the coordinate and the mapping. I'm going to use the UVs. UVs to the and then this to a texture. Connect that to the dark gradient, and then we have our gradient. Let's add a color ramp to control this. Now, if we move, see how it will go from inside to outside. We want the
First, we're just going to make this, this line part right here. And we just want the um, front and the back to be transparent. So, our so. Okay, now uh, let's make it transparent. Add in a PSDF mission exchanger and up bottom. Then we can use wrap as a factor. How this looks. You have to put this to go into material properties. The apple blend. Now we have this ring part out here first. So you can manipulate the axle location of the UV maps to kind of position where you want, or you can animate the top wave. It goes like this. Now, if you want to make this ring transparent itself, you have to add another transparent PSDF. And another mixture. Now we can now we have this as transparent instead of solid. All right, and if you want, if you don't want it to be like a straight line like this, you can also add some distortion if you want. You can add in a noise texture. Connect this to the vector. And then add in a color ramp to constant. These two. See the noise here. Then we can just mix the two color ramps together. Mixed RGB. All right. Then it's change the factor. Oh, and add, add another color ramp to control this trans. All right, so there you have it. That's some kind of uh, not exactly straight line anymore. All right, so first we have made the ring part right here. So next we're going to make these waves here, and we're going to let's duplicate this to the side. Then we're also going to duplicate the material. So we're going to use this same thing, so we're just going to add a few things. First, um, I think a noise texture have its own mapping. We want to use it the same one. So let's delete. Add another mapping node. The texture. And we connect it to the same UVs. 
and connect the vector to the voice. Okay. Now we just have to see how much noise we have. And what it looks like. We're going to change the rotation to 90 degrees. So the noise is coming from the right. And let's see how this fit down to. Out this one. What I'm trying to make now is these parts here. But the detail sharper gal. Okay. By the way, this is also going to animate it on. Here. Next thing is, um, we're going to duplicate this gradient texture. It's color ramp. Second gradient, not affected by this mapping node, directly to the UVs. And let's get rid of all these. And then we're going to mix it with our texture here. And keep this in a multiply. But this one, the second one, and this two. See what's there. All right, we don't need we need to be on both sides around the whole thing here Okay, let's tweak the values a bit. Maybe you had that. Yes. Probably like here. Like that. And that's pretty much the effect. So what you would do is you would um, just put these two over together, rotate it. You would have this effect, and you would probably just animate it by playing around the X. Happy note. Is zero. Okay, but this. You also want it to have a disappearing effect. You can play with the multiply. Make it disappear or not. All right. So that's pretty much basically the share. I tried to copy the poets in the reference image for using my character. And applying this shader, and here's what it looks like. Not exactly the same, but it's it's close. So here you are. All right, so that's it. I hope this was helpful. See you guys next time.